Welcome to Metro State of Mind. I'm Kathy Lucas, Assistant Vice President of College Communications. This program is an ongoing series of interviews designed to keep the college community informed of key initiatives, offer food for thought on today's hot issues, and celebrate the rich successes of our faculty, students, and staff. We hope it educates, entertains, and perhaps even inspires you. In the second installment of Metro State of Mind, we're here with Hadija Nirense Kouye, an adjunct professor of social work in African and African American studies at Metro State College. Welcome, Hadija. Thank you. Hadija, you have a fascinating story. To begin, I understand that you're a survivor of genocide in Rwanda. Yes, I am. Did those experiences shape you as an educator? I think it had. Um, I'm actually convinced it had, even though I haven't thought about it in that way. The more I get involved in research and learning and, 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 and you know, in teaching, I realize um, I come from a perspective, from a theoretical background that I call social constructivism. Mm -hmm. And uh, with social constructivism, I believe in the multiplicity of realities. And I believe in relationships. And I believe in context. So um, me as a learner in the United States, there is no way I can separate what my experience, my background experiences in Rwanda have been. And me as a teacher here, I think that the, my, the process of teaching is also informed by my background because I have been a teacher for 19 years before I came. And the fact that I've been a community organizer. So all those experiences have shaped the person I am today as an individual and both as an educator and learner. Great. As a result of your compelling life story, what benefits do you see for a student who is taking one of your classes at Metro State? I think every time, whether I'm in, in, cl in a classroom teaching, um, whether I go out to speak in communities, in church groups, and uh, I, for example, recently I was at Littleton High, my story kind of blends in how I teach and how I approach the material and even the people I talk to. Mm -hmm. uh, every time I speak about a concept, it's, it's just my experience has pops in. Uh, um, now I'm teaching social welfare policy, for example. As opposed to sticking to the material in the book, I find myself going back and telling my student what that means. And actually, um, uh, it's, it's true about Rwanda and it's true about the rest of Africa that uh, it's, it's a kind of a completely, it's an area that's not very well known by the American student. And right. so when they hear about Rwanda, they actually see me. <laughs> One time someone told me that I bring Rwanda to the classroom, which is true. That's a good analogy. Yeah. In your doctoral dissertation, you explain how best to provide services to those displaced from their homes. Is that a very personal issue to you? It's very personal and it's very professional also. I think it's, it's both. It's, it's personal because I, I am one, one of them. And it's professional because when I came, I wanted to be working with a population that I can identify with. Uh, when I first came as a, a social work student, my first year of internship with, was at the gathering place. And the gathering place, really, it's beautiful. I love the work they do. I really admire a lot mm -hmm. of what they do. And I wish there was more ab about that kind of work for homeless people, especially women and children. But it's so very American. It's very American. The approaches are very American. It's, uh, and so me, as a professional coming from outside, I was just feeling so awkward about how do I provide uh, s services to ho ho homelessness did not quite sit well with me. Even though I was coming from a war-torn country, we really don't have people living on the street. Um, our homes are not very fancy or very luxurious, but people don't live on the street. Um, and so it was kind of a, it was a contradiction to me coming to a country that's so very wealthy, very sophisticated system, and here having children and women living on the street. So the, the understanding of poverty in America has to do with what America is. Mm -hmm. And the understanding of poverty in Rwanda has to do with what Rwanda is. And so when the, my next year when I decided I wanted to work more with the people I can identify with and I d discovered that even though I wanted to be working with well, I, the place I went, they were working with refugees and asylees, mm -hmm. people who were seeking asylum. And then I realized even though they were serving a population that was displaced and from outside, the model was still the same. It was an American thinking. It wasn't really, I, I, I could just see how, 
how the client and the provider are kind of going in different directions when they wanted to be going in the same directions. And it wasn't anybody's fault in particular, but I thought it was important for me to bring that forward. That's interesting. Do you know how many Rwandan refugees are here living in Denver? It's interesting because when I started the grassroots uh, organization that I chair, mm -hmm. I used to feed them in my living room when, they were f when we first started. Wow. Now I can. not Even at my graduation, I have to rent a place at DU to have everybody in, mostly Rwandans, to feed them in. What is it about the United States that inspired you to come here? Uh, that's an interesting question because... <laughs> I don't think it was a choice of mine as such. I was at a time in my life, it was uh, right after, the, it was four years actually after the Rwandan genocide have ended, and I was married to a man who did not belong to my own ethnic, and who did not ethnic, my own ethnic, who did not wealth, my own wealth, 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 who did not in half, my own net in half, who did not in half, my own net in half, who did not in half, my own net in half, who did not in half, my own net in half, who did not in half, my own net in half, who did not in half, my own net, whether I who did not, whether I my own net, whether I who did not, whether I my own whether I who did not whether I my own whether I who did not whether I my own whether I who did not whether I my own whether I who did not benefit my own benefit 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 who did not have beat my own I've beat who did not have beat my own I've beat who did not have beat my own I've beat who did not have beat my own I've beat who did not have beat my own I've beat who did not have beat my own as a teacher who did not as a teacher Teach my own as a teach who did not as a teach my own as a teach who did not as a teach my own as a teach who did not as a teach my own as a teach who did not as a teach my own as a teach who did not owe up my own owe up who did not owe up my own owe up who did not owe up my own owe up who did not owe up my own owe up who did not owe up my own owe up who did not my own 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 being is who did not being is my own being is who did not being is my own being is who did not being is my own being is who did not being is my own being is who did not being is my own being is who did not I fit my own I fit who did not I fit my own I fit who did not I fit my own I fit who did not I fit my own I fit who did not I fit my own I fit who did not think my own think 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 who did not think my own in the second who did not in the second my own in the second who did not in the second my own in the second who did not in the second my own in the second who did not in the second my own in the second who did not in the second my own in the second who did not food for my own food for who did not food for my own food for who did not food for my own food for who did not food for my own food for who did not food for my own food for who did not my own 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 food for who did not food for my own food for who did not food for my own food for who did not food for my own food for who did not food for my own food for who did not food for my own food for who did not in the second my own in the second who did not in the second my own in the second who did not in the second my own in the second who did not in the second my own in the second who did not in the second my own in the second who did not think my own think 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 who did not think my own I fit who did not I fit my own I fit who did not I fit my own I fit who did not I fit my own I fit who did not I fit my own I fit who did not I fit my own I fit who did not being in my own being in who did not being in my own being in who did not being in my own being in who did not being in my own being in who did not being in my own being in who did not my own 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 oh who did not oh my own oh who did not oh 
my own name. Oh, um, who did not owe up my own name. Oh, um, who did not owe up my own name. Oh, um, who did not owe up my own name. Oh, um, who did not as a teeth my own name. As a teeth who did not as a teeth my own name. As a teeth who did not as a teeth my own name. As a teeth who did not as a teeth my own name. As a teeth who did not as a teeth my own name. As a teeth who did not have been my own name. I've been who did not have been my own name. I've been who did not have been my own name. I've been.